both models predict the same percentage of forest coverage, that's our P and our Q, our Y values, in the year 2008 and 2020. Well, remember, it's X years after 2000. So that would mean X is equal to 8 here, and X is equal to 20 here. So they want to know kind of how our graphs behave either before, in between, or after these two time periods, right? So I'm a very visual person. I would love to see these two graphs on Desmos with some random constants in there with the restrictions that n is greater than 1 uh, and that our y values are equal when x is 8 and when x is 20. And it's going to be much easier to visualize on Desmos. So I pull my graph up here. And for our first equation, we say negative mx plus k. We throw some sliders in. And again, all they said is these have to be positive. So that's easy. Let's zoom out and see our linear line here. Our second equation is going to be negative n to the x plus r. And our only restriction here was that n and r are positive. Specifically, the n has to be greater than 1. So I'll just make it 1.1. Uh, the final touch is going to be these should have equal y values when my x is 8 and when my x is 20. So I want to drag these way up because I want to be dealing with positive numbers. So k is going to be our y-intercept here. Let's go ahead and make that like 40. And then same thing, my r value is going to be my, uh, is our y-intercept? It's going to help us drag the y up. So we can bring that way up. And then I'll just leave the, uh, the curved equation where it is, and we'll mess with our linear equation until I can try to get my y values. They don't have to be exact. I just want them to be close to help us demonstrate the relationship, right? So if I try to bring this up to maybe like 50, and then we can try to make the slope where it looks like it's going to kind of line up. Do you see how that looks like it might, li might line up now? I drag this down, and honestly, I think that's close enough to see our relationship. Again, these aren't exactly lining up on our x equals 20, but you can kind of picture it if I moved it over a little bit. It looks like our curved line is going to be less than the linear line before this time period and after this time period. But in the middle of it, it looks like our curved line is going to be greater. So that's all I have to look for back on my worksheet here. I look down below and I see... Uh, between this, this is our early period. Uh, our linear equation is not going to be less. Our linear equation is actually going to be more in the earlier period. In the entire period, we're not going to have a definitive relationship because during some points, one's greater. During other points, another one's greater. So it can't be that. In C, this is our middle period. And it should say that our linear is less. The linear equation is less than the curved one during that period, 100%. But just to make sure. In D, uh, after our time period, the linear equation is less. That's not true. The linear was more. So it looks like it's going to be C here. 